Pipeflow Expert provides extensive functionality for modelling pumps. A pump is added to a model by adding the pump to a pipe. There are three ways to add a pump to a pipe. You can click on the pipe to highlight it and then click the Add Edit Pump button in the pipe pane. Or you can right click on the pipe and select the Add Edit Pump option. Or you can select the Add Pump button from the toolbar and click on a pipe to add the pump. Here we have a model with an existing pump on pipe 1. If we click that pump, we can see the pump data screen. On the left hand side we can see three radio buttons, which represent the different types of pump modelling that we can achieve. Pipeflow Expert allows three types of pump modelling. Flow versus head curve, for a set speed and impeller size. Fixed flow pump, or a fixed head pump. And these three radio buttons represent each of those options. The flow versus head curve is modelled by selecting the set speed radio button. Pipeflow Expert comes with a pre-built database containing existing pumps that we can use to select from. The pump curve that you can see on the screen is from one of the pumps in the Pipeflow Expert database. If we select the set speed option and specify a pump and then solve the system, the system will be solved with a flow rate and pump head which lies on the performance curve. The due to point for the steady state balance solution will also be plotted on the performance curve and a system curve which runs through the due to point can be shown. If we save this pump to the pipe and click calculate, then we can view the results drawing and in results mode hover over the pipe. Then you can see in the pop-up box the various pump parameters that have been calculated. Then in results mode we can click on the pump symbol and then we can see that the duty point has been plotted onto the pump curve as well as the system curve. If we click the graph options button then we can toggle on and off various parts of the, the graph as you can see. If we now go back into design mode and click on the pump symbol again, we could choose to set the operation mode to set flow rate. If, for example, we specify a flow rate of 0 0.01 meters cubed per second, we can save that pump to the pipe and then calculate the system again. In results mode, we can hover the mouse over the pump and you can see near the bottom of this pop-up box there's a pump head value that has been calculated and that value is the pump head required to achieve the flow rate that we have specified in this system. So a fixed flow rate pump can be a useful option to find an initial pump head for a system. The flow rate and pump head required can then be used to select a centrifugal pump with a suitable performance curve from a specific pump manufacturer. If we go back into design mode again and click on the pump symbol, we can select set head increase. So for example, we can specify 6 meters fluid, save pump to pipe, and then calculate the system again. And this option can be a useful way to see how a change in pump head affects flow rates at various points in the system. So by hovering the mouse over the different parts of the system, we can see the flow rate achieved for this particular pump head.